Stay tuned for Air Gun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Airgun Detectives. Today we're going to take the mystery out of the Gamo Urban 22. Uh, before we get started, just want to let you guys know, um, as you kind of saw from the beginning there, I'm uh, not quite myself this week. I'm missing my best friend. Um, so excuse me if I'm a bit off my, my beloved Bailey. I lost her this week. So <clears throat> anyway, enough of that. I just want to let you guys know if I'm off a little bit. But anyway, before we get started, do me a favor. Uh, if you have a chance, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'd appreciate that. If you'd like to be notified of new videos coming out, uh, you can always hit that little bell. <clears throat> In addition to that, we love your guys' feedback. You, you guys continue to leave some great feedback. Really appreciate the thumbs up. <clears throat> Keep that going. Uh, in addition to that, uh, you guys uh, visit my website at www.airgundetectives.com. <clears throat> Don't forget, i got a lot of neat stuff there. And here's the thing that I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start clearing out some of my inventory. So some of the guns that I review, I'm actually going to put those on the website for sale. And I only have one of them, so when they're, when they're gone, they're gone. But a lot of those guns, they've been tuned, um, they're upgraded, and they really don't have a lot of rounds in them. So you're basically getting a better than new gun. So check those out. I just want to let you guys know about that. Also, don't forget about our moisture bags from the, uh, the firearms guards. And uh, I'll leave a link down below, but they're at www.firearmguards.com. And don't forget the promo code AIRGUN, and you'll get free shipping on these, and you'll get it under 15 bucks. So now that we got the business out of the way, let's get back to our Gamble Urban here. <clears throat> All right, this gun retails uh, anywhere between about $270 and $400. Yeah, $399. So this is a non-regulated PCP 22 caliber um, rifle. This has a 105 cc cylinder, and it holds up to 232 bar, but that would be 3,365 psi. Bet you guys didn't think you were going to get a math class today. But anyway, this also has a 10-shot magazine. Uh, in addition to that, <clears throat> the gun only weighs 6.7 pounds, and the the entire gun is only 42 inches long. It does have a 19 and a quarter inch barrel, <clears throat> and it comes with this this great um, Whisper uh, Maxim silencer, and it works really well. This gun is really backyard friendly, but we'll talk about that later. We're just gonna show you what we've got. Um, it also comes with a fill probe, and uh, let me show you real quick how you would fill this. This has a cover on here, you just pop this little baby off, which is typical, and you'll see there's a opening, and it, basically you just take your fill probe, and you slide it in there, and then, <clears throat> however, it does not come with this um, 1 8 inch, uh, the BSPP, their quick disconnect. You gotta purchase that separate. If you're noticing this uh, Picatinny rail on the bottom here does not come with that, I actually put that on there. It also does not come with a scope or the scope rail. It does come with the standard 11 millimeter dovetail uh, scope mount. Um, <clears throat> so you can put whatever type of optics you want as far as that goes. Magazines are pretty nice in this. First of all, in order to access it, you gotta pull the bolt back, and the magazine comes right out just like this. And they load really, really easy. You just basically drop the pellet in and rotate it. Go to the next one, rotate it. Next one, rotate it. It's that simple. And when you put it back in the gun, just remember the hole goes at the top. That's all you gotta remember. The hole goes at the top. This will slide right on in. If you guys don't know, you can decock these guns very easily. Just hold the bolt back, pull the trigger in, and slide the bolt forward, and it's decocked. That simple. Performance-wise, uh, Gamo's claiming this will get about 800 feet per second. We're going to test that and find out. We'll see how accurate they are when it comes to that. Um, this does come with a cat trigger. Um, they say out of the box it's about a three-pound trigger pull. We'll go ahead and take a look at that and see how that is. Um, other than that, let's see how well this thing performs. As I said, I mean it's a good looking, it's a good looking stock. You guys can see that. I, I love the, the raised cheek rest on the back of it. And it feels just, it's really, really good in the arm. And it's ambidextrous. The only thing that's not is the bolt. 
So stay tuned for the next segment and uh, we'll see how well it performs. Let's test our Gamma Urban here for velocity. I'm going to shoot some of the uh, SIGs, the Venoms. They're a 14.5 grain pellet. They did really good um, as far as when I was practicing, as far as accuracy goes. But let's just shoot five shots and uh, see how we do over the crony. All right. Shot number one. 820. Shot number two. 824. Shot number three. 824 again. Shot number four. 827. And shot number five. 827 again. Not a bad standard deviation at all. So you can see what the foot pounds of energy are there. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next segment. All right, we're going to test our Gamma Urban out for some accuracy. Um, we're going to be at our usual uh, 20 yards, 60 feet. Anyway, go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Yeah. And we're going to be shooting those targets look bigger up on the screen, but this this is this is how little the targets are. They're actually pretty doggone small. And uh, we're going to see how well it groups with these. And thanks again to the um, splatter burst targets for supplying us with these. I'll leave a link uh, below for you so you can uh, if you'd like to get some of them, because they do make it really easy to see where you're hitting, especially at, at a distance. But we're going to go ahead and shoot the SIG Venoms, the 14.5 um, grain. This gun, this rifle, is not overly pellet picky. So let's see how well we can get a group, and uh, we'll go from there. But it's not overly pellet picky, so there's a variety of different pellets I'm sure you can use on it. So I'm just going to try to go for grouping here. That's one. As I said before, this gun is really quiet. Two. I believe that one in the same hole. Three. They're all going through the same hole right now. Four. Let's do one more. Five. Yeah, basically, roughly, they all went through the same hole. I mean, this thing is extremely accurate and quiet. I'm emphasizing it again. I cannot believe how quiet that is. But look at that group. That's a pretty nice group. Okay, let's move on to the next segment. Let's test out the Gamma Urban as far as the trigger weight and the pull weight on our uh, cat style trigger here. It's actually a very, very light trigger. So let's see what we're getting here. All right. One pound, four tenths of an ounce. One pound, four tenths of an ounce. As I said, it's a really nice trigger. And the other thing I have to keep commenting on, this has got to be the quietest PCP gun I think I've ever shot. It is so backyard friendly. It's one of the quietest air guns you're going to be able to shoot in your backyard. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Let's do a little plinking here with our Gamo Urban. We're our usual 40 yards out. Go ahead and take a look at this. You see what we're shooting there? Got a couple of uh, little shotgun shells couple of little eggs and then uh, a little ram and a bird so let's see how well we do um, again I want you to pay attention to how quiet this thing is because it's really really quiet so let's uh, see how well we do we're gonna still shoot our um, the SIG uh, uh, Venoms the 14.5 uh, grain and uh, see how well we do here all right take out the uh, Shotgun shells first. There's one. And we'll take out the other shotgun shell. There we go. And let's see, white egg. That ah, thing hits hard. And the red egg. And the orange ram. Wow. And the big white bird. Yeah. This thing, it's so deceiving because it's so quiet when the pellet actually hits that hard. It's very surprising. But anyway, let's go ahead and wrap this up and uh, 
head to our last segment. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion here. All right, you guys saw how well this performed. Uh, before we get into the positives, let's talk about the negatives a little bit. Um, one of the negatives, and I would think, you buy the gun, you get a fill probe, right? So you get this little fill probe here. And it doesn't come with this little um, eighth inch quick release. You need to get the one eighth BPS um, uh, quick release. You gotta buy that separate. It should come with that. So anyway, that's just, that's just a little pet peeve of mine. Uh, in addition to that, it doesn't come with a Picatinny rail. I had to put this Picatinny rail on the bottom of it. And you'd think they could just throw that in because you could set it up for bipods as you guys saw me using. So it doesn't come with a Picatinny rail. Uh, the also negativity is the cat trigger here. It's a little bit of negativity out of the box. Out of the box, it's a little over three pounds. You saw how well it performed because I put my Gamo trigger screw in it. So at the same time, it's a negative, this trigger, but it's also a positive if you just upgrade to my trigger screw and you throw in that $6 screw and next thing you know, you have a great trigger. This thing was breaking it barely over a pound. It gets rid of the creep and uh, it's very predictable. It actually turns out to be a really good um, trigger. The other thing I don't like so much is this magazine. To buy a second magazine, these things are close to 50 bucks. I mean, come on. You're talking like an eighth of the price of the gun just for a magazine. So it's 50 bucks. They seem to be a little excessive. They are nicely built. It's metal on the back. And uh, they seem to be pretty high quality. But still, at least if they're going to charge you that, you know, give you two with a gun. That would be nice. Again, this decocks. Just pull the trigger back. Hold on to the bolt. And it decocks. Okay. <clears throat> so those are kind of my negatives. The... Um, positives on this. Number one's got to be the accuracy. You guys saw how well this thing performed. I mean, I literally put one pellet on top of the other in our, in our uh, accuracy test. It shot a .21 inch center to center group, as you guys saw that. I mean, that, that was pretty amazing. Um, in addition to that, another positive is they claim 800 feet per second. We got every bit of that. In fact, we averaged about 825 feet per second with a 14.3 grain pellet and uh, we got about 22 foot-pounds of energy. So this thing is absolutely perfect for a small game. The other thing um, we need to talk about is um, how many shots do you get per um, fill on this? You actually good, there's a power curve on this thing. And as you know, we talked about it, you can fill this thing up to a 232 bar. But the actual best um, range, because this is a non-regulated PCP, so from about 3,000 PSI all the way down to about 1,500 PSI is your most consistent group. And during, uh, during that group, you're going to get about 22 really consistent shots. That means a very low standard deviation, so there won't be a big separation between feet per second. And you can actually get about 30 usable shots, 32 usable shots out of this um, per fill. So that's not bad whatsoever. So even if you can only fill it to 3,000 PSI, standard 200 bar, that's pretty much all you need because you're going to get your best shots in that. Another thing I want to talk about is really positive is how quiet this rifle is. I don't know, there's some reports out there that thought they were, this was loud. This is one of the quietest air rifles I have shot. This um, Gamo uh, suppressor works excellent. It's totally backyard friendly. Uh, another thing I really like is this stock. This stock is very comfortable. It's ambidextrous, you know, you can shoot it if you're a left-hander, great, right-hander. It's not heavy, the whole gun weighs under seven pounds, so you could carry this with you in the field all day long. You really could. So overall, um, we had really good performance out of this gun, especially once you put that trigger screw in there, and then you get a, a really nice trigger. How would I rate this gun? Uh, without a doubt, it's gonna have to be four and a half stars. Four and a half stars. Because especially at the price point, um, I bought this gun a couple of years ago, and uh, actually I only have about, seriously, I have probably less than 200 rounds through it. But um, for the price point, it's, it, you get a lot of gun here. You really do. So, um, again, thanks for tuning in. Hey, don't forget about my website. Check out my website. You're going to see uh, various guns that I review on there. I'm going to be uh, thinning out my inventory. So I'll be selling some um, different type of uh, both pistols and rifles. Maybe there be, might be something you're interested. But keep in mind, I only have one of each. So when they're gone, they're gone. Other than that, uh, if you hadn't already, do me a favor. Please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, in addition to that, 
please give us some feedback. We'd love to see, you know, the thumbs up. So until next time, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Take care.